Let's start this video on chemosynthesis by first recognising it sounds quite similar to a word that you may have studied before, which is photosynthesis. When we broke down the word photosynthesis, it meant using light to produce chemical compounds by a reaction. So let's now look at chemosynthesis. So the chemo part stands for chemical and the synthesis is the same. So the production of chemical compounds by a reaction. So in chemosynthesis, rather than using light to produce chemicals, we are using chemicals to produce other chemicals. Let's remind ourselves of the photosynthesis equation. It was carbon dioxide reacts with water to produce glucose and oxygen. And we said that plants and algae use this along with needing sunlight and chlorophyll for this reaction to produce their own food, to produce glucose. In chemosynthesis, there is not a general word equation for chemosynthesis as there are many different chemical reactions that this could be. But often, one of the reactants is carbon dioxide and that will react with another chemical to produce glucose and another product. Chemosynthesis is used by microorganisms that live in the dark. For example, underground or in the deep sea. Now these microorganisms don't have access to sunlight, so they couldn't evolve to use photosynthesis like plants and algae did. Instead, they use the chemicals around them, so in the soil or in the water, to produce their own food. Lots of bacteria do chemosynthesis. Nitrogen bacteria live in the soil and use nitrogen in the soil for chemosynthesis to produce their own food. And sulfur bacteria live near hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the sea. They use the hydrogen sulfide released from the vents for chemosynthesis. And some sulfur bacteria live in tube worms, like you can see in the image. And tube worms have no stomachs, so they use the substances that are made by the bacteria. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.